Hi, this is David Allen Greer. I'm the Vice President of Publication for the IEEE Computer Society and a professor at the George Washington University in Washington, D.C. This is the first of a series of podcasts that I'm going to be doing over the coming year to talk about the publication plans of the Computer Society, where we are, what we've done, where we're going. It doesn't take much to observe that publication has changed radically in the last four or five years. We see the changes both in the popular press and in technical publications. Papers are being distributed very quickly over the Internet. There are new forums and new sites that present ideas. The old forms of publication, the ones that we grew up with and the ones that we have used all our lives, are having to adapt to this new world. Publication has been very important to the computer society. In many ways, the society got its start as a means of distributing information about computers and computer engineering. And that role has changed and evolved and expanded over nearly 50 years of work by very dedicated volunteers. The society actually expanded during the 70s and 80s and 90s through the use of publication. When the society realized that there was a new field developing in computer science, it would start a publication, recruit an editorial board, and assemble a community to build that field within the society. Our very first magazine was computer. From there, we spread out to software, to multimedia, to computer graphics, and other publications to reach out and embrace new activity and new work. As we look ahead, we're not going to abandon that strategy or think of radically new and different ways of organizing the society. But we're at a point where we really do need to think about how we produce new ideas, how we get them to the community that needs them, how we validate them, and how we use them to strengthen and support our mission. Last October, I spent a week working with a new group of software engineers and was impressed to see how much of their intellectual life was lived on the Internet, how much they got ideas from various forums, how much they vetted their own ideas through friends and colleagues and institutions that were connected to them only by high-speed digital communication. In looking ahead to the podcasts I will be developing in this series, I want to keep that idea in front of us. The purpose of publication is to help hold together a structure that creates ideas, validates ideas, disseminates ideas, and most importantly, helps the society move forward. I promise to keep these podcasts short, under four minutes. And so this one's coming to an end. But I look forward to talking with you further, and I look forward to your feedback. You can contact me at greer, G-R-I-E-R, at computer.org. Thanks for listening and I look forward to talking to you soon. One last thing. I need to add that the music for this podcast came from the Podsafe Audio Music for the Revolution site and is used under the Creative Commons license. Thanks so much. Take care.